go judgment after judgment a couple of weeks back. And so, you know what? I'm excited to see the wolf back in action. Of course, this is the bread and butter for Jackal. Yeah, Marcus, you know, first time being on the PR. Game and Watch player from New Jersey. Been under the radar for a little bit. And I'm getting a big win over Icy Mist at Bears. And of course, for anyone who's not in the know, I'm obviously joking. This is his first time making PR with the tag, Marcus. Oh my god! Whoa. I can finish my bit. He just did it. The first stock. <laughs> he has ab and absolutely none of this joke. And he got it. <laughs> hey, you know what? We are counting down the stocks and Marcus delivering. Dude, that was a zero to death two to open up 37 Jackal special number. Hold up. He might got a chance here, but right now, Marcus, I love the way they're just going ahead and allowing that air drift to get him out of some of these jungle situations. Oh, yeah, he's doing a really good job of using Wolf's air speed to kind of get out of these really damaging game watch combos. But I'm loving how Marcus is going for the explosive options right off the bat, right? Like realizing, okay, Wolf does a lot of damage and Wolf can delete my stocks very, very quickly. So if I'm able to get my hands on this Wolf and get as much damage as I can as quickly as possible, I'm gonna make it very, very hard for Jekyll to come back, which is he, he is very good at doing. Yeah, no, ooh, and giving him that S match right there, gonna be a beautiful way to seal out that stock. And now Jekyll got a little bit of an opportunity to here to build up damage. And as you said, really good kill power. So Marcus playing very calm and patient, and I love to see it. Yeah, and now we have Jackal trying to bring this game back. Already evening up the stock count here. I uh, 147 is going to be very hard to bring this guy into character like Game Watch. Of course, one thing you can do, is of course, find your wolf combos as often as possible. But Marcus again just locking it down super well, using those very select disjoints that Game Watch has, and keeping Wolf out of your immediate danger zone. Jackal just trying to cause what literally calls way back into this game. Four and a downer comes out. Of course, that's not going to take the stock. But man, he is playing explosive right now. But that back air is going to close it out. That is a crazy high percentage to be living to, though. So you know what, Jackal making it all the way to 200. That is going to be a problem if he could do the same this stock. So Marcus, though, getting diced up real fast. Jackal not allowing him to reset that neutral. And uh, already 106 on deck. This is getting a little bit rough if you want to take it out. One of the best, not only in New Jersey, but in the world. Jackal almost finding the stock here. Yeah, I think Marcus's approach to this matchup so far has been very, very smart, right? Like a lot of Game & Watch players that can kind of find a singular hit and then just tunnel vision very, very hard, you know? Go for those high damaging combos. And Game & Watch does do a lot of damage, right? Marcus, however, he gets a grab, he gets a nair, and he just gets like 20 or 30%, and then he backs off as soon as possible. And that's a big thing against a character like Wolf who can delete your stock just like that. Push it down to the last stock scenario. But again, Marcus just nickel and diming away and just doing his thing. Yeah, no, he's doing a really good job of just holding down that pressure. Like you said, look at that getting a little bit antsy on that shield, though, and taking some damage for it. That is the thing right here. Going down against Jackal and Top 8 is a horrifying thing. This Jackal knows how to hold on to those leads and everything. Plus, if you drop down to losers, there's Web JP, there's Hayes, and you know what? Jackal is looking to send Marcus to a 1 0 deficit the way he is putting the pressure on Momo. Oh, yeah, he's locking down very, very well right now. Here comes the fourth third. Jackal, of course, sending Marcus off stage, finally getting to the lead for the first time in this game. Very small lead, but that's all that matters against Game and Watch. Marcus coming out of the corner there with a the dash tag, trying to keep this very close. Again, Marcus using those disjoints, giving his space away from this wolf. And land there safely too, using the drifts very, very well to stay out of Wolf's immediate zone. Jackal just struggling really, really hard to land right now. Marcus constantly keeping a hitbox active, just making this very scary, especially in the last hit with Mr. Game & Watch. Dude, Jackal is so scared. I'm so scared. Ian, what even happened <laughs> in this situation? Right now, both of them are just being so patient. We are seeing so many shields because neither one of them wants to give up the ground. And look at this, Aftil gonna be able to find it. Beautifully done by Jackal. Look at that, the nod of the head, understanding. Yep, yes sir, we bring it back from that zero to death. And that is huge because at the beginning, Marcus was running away with it. He had the full swing of the tempo, but Jackal able to just take it for a moment, understand what he needed to do. And he just clutched up the Big thing, that movement, the ability to bob and weave between Game & Watch's hitboxes was absolutely immaculate. Oh yeah, I love how Jackal approaches a lot of these matchups. Like obviously not favorable for Wolf and of course in certain aspects, right? And Jackal's saying, okay, but I know I obviously can't avoid getting hit by Game & Watch. That's, that's definite, right? So I have to 
mix up my DI as often as possible and keep Marcus guessing. He's already doing that right now, only taking 37%. Again, you know, the special number. Jackal just in here yes, comfortably again, again, again. You know, that, that's the only, that's the only reach he needs. <laughs> truly, truly. I will say, as you mentioned, just being very aware of how to play this, and making it so that Marcus has to nickel and dime, but oh, the two frame right there. Beautiful timing right there from Jackal to get that. Of course, if you got Marcus in a little bit more of a linear situation, you could delete stocks, but right now, 38, Marcus trying to find a little bit something more at this ledge right now. Well, yeah, again, the way that Marcus approaches, you know, using that back air floating down very, very patiently, waiting for Jackal to make a mistake, but Jackal is the type of player who does not trigger, he's not very trigger happy, right? Especially when he's in the lead, he's able to play very, very patiently. Of course, reminiscent of a Sonic player, you know, the, the, it just speaks for itself. This guy is able to step back and literally make his opponent come to him no matter what the situation is. Marcus, of course, just waiting for Jackal again to slip up here. Gonna finally find that up special out of shield. Jackal again and again, mixing up this getting off his ledge. Marcus just can't find anything right now. Yeah, he's really struggling, but you know what, Jackal, he is taking full advantage of this right here as you need to. But right here, Marcus coming so close and yet so far, Jackal just been so good at delaying the recoveries. How does Marcus fight back? I mean, one thing you can do, obviously, is go for that bacon at the ledge. Maybe try to close it up. Again, Jackal, missing up so well, gonna finally get hit by that forward air. Marcus at 110. You know, a game watch, a very light character. All the rage you gotta make, you gotta make a count. And as I say that, you get immediately hit with Wolf Up Smash. Very unfortunate. Now you're one stock away from being sent to losers. We can see Marcus make something happen right now. We know he can, considering his luck. 100%. I mean, when he gets the chance, you know he's going to roll the dice. And so if he can find it, all of a sudden, it goes right back to even. And two, might not be able to find the nine here. But you know what? Still a little bit of damage. And Marcus finding the way to go ahead and extend that damage. 44 to 66 now. Jackal trying to find a little bit of a something here with those back airs. Of course, they might just delete a stock early. Oh, yeah. Jackal sitting up here, two stocks to one. Marcus needs to make a very explosive play, whether literally or figuratively. We're about to see right now, depending on what number he gets. <laughs> just taking a step back here, sitting under that platform. The way that Game Watch does. Now, Jackal again finding a grab of his own. Here comes a down throw, getting set over at the ledge once again. But if this game wants to come back on, that huge Nair is going to clip you. you got to be so careful. Here comes a nice anti airs Going to get caught with that dash tag once again. A nice high recovery. Jackal sitting here very, very patiently. Marcus trying literally everything in the book. Dude. All right. <laughs> All right, guns. <laughs> okay, man. Hey, you know what? When you got to sit back and throw blasters, that's what you got to do. Look at that, though. The chair, the bombs, Marcus doing a really good job of just shutting out all that stage right there, not allowing Jackal to get a second to find a spot to move into. Oh, there's a back air again. Of course, it's not going to send him off stage just yet. Marcus again sitting under this platform, sitting under his home. He pays his rent on time. He's got his utilities locked down right now. He's waiting for Jackal to make a mistake. Jackal, of course, doing the exact same thing. We've got an immovable object versus an unstoppable force. Someone's gonna make a mistake eventually. <laughs> Maybe, ooh, Marcus being the one to make the mistake getting caught by the claws. And now look at that Jackal, trying to find the solution to end out this game number two back though. You know what, that's a fake kill move, never trust that thing. And uh, right now though, look at him, trying to lock him down on flat, but Marcus getting another chance at this Momo. Oh, here goes the fake in that ledge once again, Marcus at max range of this game watch. Wolf, wolf fair, <laughs> wolf fair. Okay, all right. I've never I guess. seen wolf fair take a stock. Yeah, that is a, a new kill wolf spark. Fair? Mark that in the books. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe he had a, maybe he had some bad di there. But that, I mean, I know he's light and everything, but dog. I mean, it was Game and Watch at one sixty five. And I think Marcus was uh, trying to yeah. jump away with a fading back aerial. So, I mean, I, I guess he, it was just an unfortunate combination of circumstances. But man, the way that Jackal approaches so many of these weird matchups, like Steve, like mm -hmm. Rob, like Game & Watch, right? Some of those characters, people are just like, man, this character is broken. What do I do against this? Jackal's like, guys, you just gotta relax. 
Seven minutes is a game in a game. That's a lot of seconds. That's 420 seconds to figure out a game plan. That's time to relax. And say, you know what? I'm Wolf. I don't have this. Obviously, I don't have the most, the craziest kit in the game. I have a pretty damn good kit. I'm one of the best in the game. I have the options to deal with this. And sometimes I may struggle with certain matchups, but with a move like Laser, with like Nair, and with Fair, I can get any matchup done. And we see it from Jocko right there, making that insane comeback game number one and a dominating game number two. As you said,